leopard down south on Juma. Now, it'll be very interesting to see what these guys get up to this morning. I was explaining to Wildebeest a little bit about their... Thursday evening, they made a kill. Some of you joined us live for that on Facebook. And then on Friday night, at about quarter to eight, so in the cover of pitch darkness, they made another kill. Both of similar-sized wildebeest, the youngsters that were born in around January, February, in the southern Serengeti in Tanzania. So a decent meal for all five of them. There's That's certainly, there's no two ways about that. But what's interesting is that they are killing, on average, every 24 hours. And it has been 24 hours since they made their last kill. We were told that they killed a wildebeest yesterday. I'm guessing it was quite a big one judging by how full their bellies were. But they've already moved quite some distance from where we had them yesterday. I'm guessing they've moved about probably close on eight, nine kilometers now, around six miles. So they've certainly burnt off a little bit of the wildebeest that they've been feeding on. The zebra that you can see in the foreground, I do not think are a likely item of prey for them. They've showed no interest in them so far. Hello to James. You're interested to know. Let's get us into a better position here. We, I'm not giving VM much to work with here. Um, James, you would like to know if I think this kind of nocturnal behavior is normal. Oh, um, what do you need there, Wildy? All good? Um, oh, I'm back at the main cam now. This is all quite confusing. We've gone from thermal flares and a low light camera we've just swapped cameras to our daytime camera so i no longer need to use the presenter camera which is down here so i can look at you up there i'm getting the hang of this slowly there's a hyena approaching apologies james i will also answer your question off in the back yes i certainly think that cheetah behave nocturnally in other parts of africa not just here Having said that, though, this is the perfect environment for Cheetah to move around relatively safely after dark because it's so, so open, which makes it very easy for them to, to de detect problem animals like lion, leopard, and hyena. Now, in this case, I'm guessing this hyena is going to come quite close in to make sure that they don't have any meat nearby. The hyena's got no idea how long they've been here for, and it would be unwise to pass up a good investigation to make sure these cheetah, like I said, do not have a meal. And if the hyena comes too close, what may happen is the cheetah may hiss and snarl at it. They may even chase it. Let's try and get into a better spot again, seeing as though we can't see anything from here. Oh, it's so nice to have the sun on our faces and our bodies after what was a very cold night out there. We haven't packed away our mattresses yet. They still, we just put them under the windscreen when they, we got up in quite a hurry at around 2.33. It's quite a thing waking up having lost the subjects of your adventure, having to try and relocate them. But via... And we're already back in sync. This looks like a young hyena. Still in very good nick, and the spots are still very, very prominent. And because it is a bit of a youngster, maybe that's why it's not going too close to the cheetah. It's a little bit cautious. But let's give it some time. Maybe its inquisitive nature will push the boundaries a little bit. Interestingly, one of the other stories I was telling VM is that on the nights we've spent out with these guys, lots of hyena often come up and check out that there's no easy meals lying around, and usually it's a fairly peaceful affair. As long as they realize that there's no meat, there's nothing for either party to lose or gain, so it's a kind of neutral affair. And on one occasion, jean said there was a hyena that actually just plonked itself down and had about a half an hour snooze 
right next to the cheetah, basically in their little cuddle puddle. They do like to cuddle these boys. Although last night they weren't very cuddly, which is interesting because it was cold, and we do feel like they're going through a little bit of a rift regarding their kind of coalition, and there is a chance that this coalition may split up, which would be terrible because they are the business at the moment, being five of them. It's a large coalition. They have been recorded in the past this large, but it's not very common. Hello to Lauren. You would like to know if it is common for a female cheetah to raise five cubs to adulthood and Well done, Fia. I didn't even know what was going on there. So now, because there's nothing to lose here, you see, it was just a neutral affair. The hyena comes in, sniffs about, no hard feelings, just checking for an easy meal. Of course, if there was food there, the cheats would be a little bit more disgruntled. They would probably give in, even just...